buenas tardes, buenos días a todos, bienvenidos. Good afternoon, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome wherever you are. My name is Sandra Reyes and I'm part of uh, the staff of LACNIC. I want to thank you for coming to this webinar that you have been invited to. This, what we are going to discuss is promoting the development uh, of uh, our capacity, uh, the technical capacity of women in the region. I want to thank uh, our guests, uh, our panelists, whom I'm going to introduce briefly. Before that, let me tell you some details about this webinar for those who participate for the first time. It uh, will last about 60 minutes, and um, uh, you can write down your questions uh, in the Q&A uh, panel. The icon is going to be in uh, the lower bottom of the blue screen, and we'll save some minutes to answer your questions, and uh, to that uh, purpose, we have a uh, uh, Clara Cremona, my colleague of the staff of LACNIC, who will uh, ask the questions to the panelists. Let me also tell you that we have a simultaneous translation in three languages, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, and English. You may access those services in the uh, bar. And finally, let me tell you that this webinar will be recorded in um, the days to come. You will uh, receive a link to have access to the recording. So now let me introduce our panelists today. We have Laura Kaplan, Development and Cooperation Manager of LACNIC, who will be sponsor of Alessic, Alicia Socchetti, um, the manager of uh, um, Erika Sanchez, coordinator of the Women of ICTs, Yaspik, and Carmen Denis, committee coordinator for the collaboration in the ecosystem and the development of the internet. In. Yes. So let me uh, welcome you all. Now I'm going to give the floor to Laura Kaplan. Laura, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Sandra. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Well, actually, I'm going to start by apologizing to all uh, the audience because we we had uh, some technical problems with Zoom. So welcome you all. It's a pleasure for us to be here uh, receiving you in this webinar that in which we'll, where we'll discuss the women in technology. That's the topic that we came here to uh, discuss uh, with Henry Chick. And uh, what I wanted to tell you as an introduction to what you've been saying is that this uh, journey of uh, looking, uh, trying to include uh, the um, this, uh, women among in, in LACNIC. We've, we've worked for several years and specifically we wanted to understand what the hurdles were, what prevented women, many technical women who are working uh, with the operational things and who participate at work um, on these issues, what prevents them from having full uh, participation in uh, those places for because of some uh, circumstances. Some of them have to do with um, the fact that they cannot generate those spaces uh, uh, trying to help them get rid of any hurdles they may have. And we've been working on some programs uh, to give uh, tools, to provide opportunities, and uh, to be able to um, include more women. And uh, so that that may result in a great diversity for a technical community. So. I leave you all with the panelists. I hope you make the most of it. Thank you, Laura. Thank you for your introduction. And now I'm going to share the screen. Let me give you a brief presentation on uh, these opportunities to promote 
the uh, development of knowledge and technical capacities of women in the region by LACNIC and ANUISTI. In this case, one of the key programs or instances developed by LACNIC is the IT Women Mentoring Program. This program is an opportunity that was created and developed by LACNIC and it's been on since 2020. This is the third edition of the program that is organized and developed uh, by the organization together with ANUISTIC and at present uh, it's open for nominations for a, a mentoring period and we are going to discuss what that means that uh, will start on October 24th, 2022 and uh, goes uh, to um, until uh, April 24th, 2023. Some uh, specific things that uh, is important to highlight of this program Essentially, it's based on the participation of the, uh, the um, LAC internet ecosystem. The program seeks to favor the engagement of women, of technical women at a regional level in the internet ecosystem and in the technical community specifically. On the other hand, it's an opportunity that it also focuses on capacity building. Through the mentoring uh, program, the participants have the opportunity to have access not just to technical training and to develop and to work while the program lasts, but also they will be able to have training for a broader uh, um, training for cross-sectional uh, activities. The program implies uh, opportunities for research. One of the key characteristics is that uh, through this program, participants may develop a technical work with the support and the monitoring of a mentor that is a leader of a technical community for a brief period, uh, uh, brief but intensive. It's a six month period. And this implies that there needs to be a very close cooperation between the mentor and the staff in charge of the program. And ultimately, all this contributes to capacity building, to creation of knowledge and minds and themes that are specific uh, for the interest uh, of uh, people working on technical work and also capacity building of the participants selected. What are the objectives of the, the goals of the program? As we said earlier, we as we focus on this webinar, the idea is to promote uh, the engagement and leadership of women in the LACNIC community and the regional internet ecosystem in a more general way. On the other hand, we also want to promote the professional development of women and to promote uh, their involvement in the participation spaces that LACNIC offers the community with events, training, among others. Among the opportunities that the program provides, there are some issues that we may consider benefits. First of all, we have the allocation of a technical community leader as a mentor. This person accompanies the participant. That person is a specialist in the specific line and topic of the participant's work and coaches that participant while it takes place. And uh, the mentor also guides the participant professionally trying to promote professional development of the participant that is followed during the mentoring period. On the other hand, we have the opportunity to present the results of the technical work developed during the six month period in person in the LACNIC Technical Forum, LACNIC 39 during the LACNIC 39 event in 
uh, May 2023. On the other hand, the participants elected also have access to training. As we said initially, not only do we speak about technical themes, but also broader themes. Um, there are participations of leadership, effective communication, high impact uh, discourse, uh, academic uh, um, work. Uh, and the idea is to contribute to the education, not just the professional education, but also the personal education of uh, the candidates that participate. Likewise, we include a free um, uh, access to the online courses offered by LACNIC campus. This is an additional opportunity. LACNIC offers a range of uh, courses and the candidates that participate in the mentoring program that are uh, selected and uh, start well in October this year, they have a chance during the mentoring period to select you know, the paid courses and to participate in them. Likewise, another opportunity that you have is a training um, um, by LACNIC to promote and encourage knowledge about the organization, its mission, its goals, what LACNIC does specifically, and what are the support the opportunities for support to third parties that LACNIC offers the community. And finally, we also have the possibility of developing, of participating in a joint publication, giving the specific results and the uh, technical contents that participants have developed during the program. Uh, so, the participants in this mentoring program are women with technical profiles, and this is quite broad, but it is very important for them to be interested in producing a technical uh, work um, in line with uh, the uh, um, lines and themes that uh, are discussed. It's also relevant for them to have availability to do the job the work and to participate in the activities promoted by the mentoring uh, program. Um, some of the, what this may imply if you participate those six, six months, in addition to doing the technical work, that is something that, well, that is a more specific aim of each and one of the participants, we anticipate four encounters or four meetings with the mentor and also follow-up sessions with the LACNIC staff, at least four, from four to six uh, trainings about once a month during the six-month period on multiple themes, quite different, as I pointed out, ranging from leadership to project management, uh, academic writing, preparing a research, uh, um, uh, papers, and finally, presenting the uh, interim results. This presentation is planned for three months after the beginning of the mentoring process. So, as we stated, one of the key focuses of the program is to uh, conduct a technical work in line with the uh, themes and lines selected by LACNIC. So in this case, the general goal of the proposals that were submitted should be focused on knowledge development or developing methodologies and tools and techniques, and also to produce original outcomes that may develop the development of a stable and open internet in the region associated to the LACNIC mission. It's important to consider that in the case of the uh, papers uh, produced, it, they may be a brief uh, uh, research 
uh, case studies, um, also a theoretical approach to a specific uh, problem in line with one of those four lines and aiming at the adoption of best practices. It's important to consider that even if it's a, a theoretical approach, it must have a concrete and practical application uh, so to solve a real problem and or that may imply innovation. There are four specific lines. On the one hand, we have architecture and network operation, traffic and connection engineering, encryption, security and resilience, and future internet development. All of these four lines will focus on a special area. In the first case, it focuses on monitoring, measuring, optimization, automation, and or innovation in our network operation and architecture around one or more of these priority areas, BGP, DNS, protocols, and performance. It is important to remember that we have broad topics. These are some of them, but we could even include others as well. What are the requirements for the submissions? On the one hand, we have training or professional experience in technical areas. It is important, as we mentioned earlier, for candidates to be interested in producing either a specific type of work or brief research to present findings after six months of the program uh, start. And in one of the 33 regions that are covered by LACNE. The submission is a very simple submission or application that will focus on these aspects. We evaluate the candidate's training, background, professional experience. It could be one or the other. It's not necessary for it to be both, how interested they actually are in producing either brief research or a paper and other aspects and they have to present a brief proposal of that technical work. This is done through an online forum that you can find in the mentorio.lacnic.net um, site. So evaluation and selection is carried out by the selection committee of the program made up of experts of the associations and organizations involved, LACNIC and ANISTIC. And is on three aspects, the technical background of the candidate, either professional experience or training, the topic of the subject matter proposed and why it is relevant for the community and how feasible it is to carry out such a proposal during the term, the mentoring term. It is important, as I mentioned earlier, to remember that these should be brief research initiatives and they should have at least primary findings within the term of the mentoring program. Some important dates to consider for the current edition of the program, and we want to take the chance to invite all of those uh, who are interested in uh, submitting their application and also inviting all and any organizations that consider they have members that comply with these requirements to please send your submission. We are currently open for submissions until September the 25th at 1159 p.m. Uruguay local time. And October 17th, we will announce the candidates that were selected and the mentoring period will begin on October the 24th until April 24th, 2023. It's important to remember that participants should have availability during the first week in March in 2023. 
to present their findings, their findings for the technical work during LACNIC's technical forum that will take place at the LACNIC 39 event. For any questions with regards to the program, And, and to become involved in the technical community and internet ecosystem at the regional level. We want to encourage everyone to contact us at mentoreo.lagnic.net. So I will now have the floor to participants who will speak about uh, their experiences. Deborah Santos, who was a participant in the 2021 edition of the program, of the mentoring program. And she presented the, the findings, the, the results of her technical work at the Atlantic's Technical Forum in March this year. And Maria Jesus Cresi, she participated in the previous edition in the mentoring program 2020. Both, uh, we want to thank you both for being here today. And we'll have the floor over to you. We'd like you to introduce yourselves, to tell us about the work that was carried out and your experience in the mentoring program. Thank you. May I begin? Okay. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for inviting me. My name is Deborah. I uh, have a doctorate in uh, engineering and telecommunications. And as Alexa said, I participated in the second edition of the mentoring program this year. And it was really a great experience for me. I was able to carry out uh, technical work whose main objective was to identify the use of, of traffic engineering among different autonomous systems. That's how the internet ecosystem works. The idea for this project came about for a, like a, a, an actual problem that I had at work, how to choose the best routes to, to route traffic considering different parameters, different needs and different parameters that are not fixed and could be antagonistic. For example, if I want to reduce energy consumption and increase the number of lengths or the number of circuits through which uh, traffic, uh, traffic is sent. So the challenge was exactly that, how to look for a solution for optimization to fulfill this objective. And it's easy to implement, easy to maintain, and can be easily adjusted considering that the network, that the web is a live entity and our needs change constantly. So based on these conditions, and also thanks to the well, the support and the experience of Rogelio Mariano, my mentor, he was really crucial for this uh, project. And we decided to focus on the BGTPE technique that it's based on segmented routing. This quite a new technique. It was standardized in 2018. And the one of the contributions of my work was to present um, further details on, on this technique. And I was able to show uh, how effective the method is through its implementation. If a, if a typical inter AS uh, connection scenario among different autonomous systems, and by doing the simulation in the IBNG tool, it's an open tool, so anyone can have a, a can can share the implementation. And in this simulation, I used images of Juniper routers that are also very well known. I ran the tests on IPv4 and IPv6, and my mentor really supported me throughout to analyze the different aspects that came out during the project. 
Another aspect that I thought was very interesting about the program is the soft skill training that they provided. We studied wartime management, effective presentations, uh, influencing skills, and also academic writing. So all of these, and on top of all of these, we were also given the opportunity to present our experience, our work to the community at LACNIC's technical forum at LACNIC 37 that took place in, in May this year. So my participation in this program was very rich, very enriching for me, very gratifying. And I thought, and really the knowledge I was able to acquire will not be uh, kept in a drawer. I'm already uh, putting them into practice in my in my personal life at work. So really, it was a fantastic experience, and I'm sure and 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 I definitely recommend the experience. And thank you so much for all of your support, and thank you for having this program. Thank you, Deborah. So it's my turn now. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Maria Jesus Cresi. I am telematic engineer. I am uh, coming to you from Montevideo, Uruguay, and I participated in LACNIC's mentoring uh, program 2020-2021. My mentor was Marcelo Miscay, a systems engineer. So hello to her as well, if she's here today. I want to thank, well, first of all, LACNEC for allowing me to share my experience today about, well, my personal experience, the process, and to encourage all participants uh, to to also uh, participate by, by telling you my personal, my personal journey. I want to describe the process, what the project was about from a technical standpoint, and my experience after or the, the, the repercussions that it had once the, the process was over. My research focus on those recommended technologies for connectivity of the Internet of Things and a locked uh, IoT uh, software-based IoT for uh, mass uh, I, uh, mass IoT applications. So the main objective was to identify all of those protocols, all of those solutions that are uh, more adequate for those regions for well sensor implementation, device implementation for variable monitoring within the IoT world, and also coverage at the level uh, 3G, 4G, optic fiber, et cetera, coverage. We then designed an IoT, or a software-based IoT solution for mass uh, network users. Basically, to pro well, to provide some context, the different regions will have their own characteristics. And of course, there are some places that are more hostile than others. So there are, for example, a, a very dense tree coverage that might might deter or, 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 or might prevent connectivity in a certain town or city. So in a way, we need to monitor variables and try to find a practical or a technology that is more, more fit. For, for the different regions or, or the different scenarios. So we thought of a mass implementation scenario taking into, into keeping in mind a service providers like a, a target audience. In, in Uruguay, this would be Antel or Telefonica or Claro or other uh, across Latin America. And of course, they provide different options and devices. With regards to the uh, 
topic. I mean, this is something that I chose out of personal interest. It was not imposed by LACNIC, but of course they did have a list of potential topics to, to discuss and, and, and I chose the one I felt more comfortable with and, and really was closer to my personal interest, which also helped the motivation. I mean, you're working on this for six months, so it really needs to be something that you feel passionate about and that you like. We then validated it together with my mentor and I really want to stress that she was very much present throughout the process. We met every month. I will uh, keep her updated on the progress that so we discussed it. She provided recommendations and different articles or videos or that I could read to, to really uh, feed into the project. En el tema de interés personal, so you eh, can uh, study on uh, your uh, things that are your personal interest and you have access to qualified uh, professionals. There's, you don't have someone uh, over your shoulder all the time, but there are people providing you support, advice, and uh, you, you have someone uh, technically uh, um, well qualified and that's very enriching. Something that I'd like to highlight about uh, the uh, trainings that they offer, not only um, do they include technical issues, but also soft uh, skills. What you just mentioned, uh, time management, effective presentations, how to learn how to to write, to develop a topic. So as professionals, we, we have acquired some of them, but there are details that sometimes we miss in our everyday work. So having the opportunity to incorporate that was very good and it was also very enriching. Something that I'd like to highlight is when the process uh, finishes in uh, the uh, uh, annual event of LACNIC, and that's wonderful because uh, the project gets visibility and among the people uh, uh, with which uh, you can later on uh, do networking and exchange ideas and uh, um, disseminate the product. And that opens a lot of doors either to continue with the project uh, to have a good repercussion. And maybe, who knows, there would be you might even get funding for your project. In my specific uh, case, the media gave, um, um, increased the outreach for the media because they made, they made it very visible in the country, even at a national level. So we exchange a lot of ideas with many people, many companies too, and even some municipalities in the interior of the country uh, for a potential implementation. And that had a very good impact and at a personal level, it was excellent, really. So I encourage all the participants, all of you to look for a topic that you may be interested in, that you feel passionate about, because you are going to have very good uh, opportunities with people in the field and will offer training so it may be a good point of departure from in your professional career for many people so just do it it's very interesting thank you thank you maria jesus and deborah for your comments and from now on we'll give the floor to erica Ed, who erica uh, from uh, Anuestic, who will uh, give her presentation. Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, good morning, good evening. It's a real pleasure to speak in the name of uh, the uh, Women in TIC uh, Network. That's a very special committee within Anuestic, uh, a committee of uh, uh, information technologies that is part of a new year that's uh, an association of universities and uh, um, high education uh, institutes it's a pleasure for us to uh, 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 start this partnership 
we have a clear objective with this uh, collaboration. In the specific case of um, the annuistic uh, committee, we have social responsibility and we have the goal of promoting uh, uh, through the creation of this special committee to increase the participation, the engage of women in the STEM disciplines. And we also uh, seek uh, to train and to disseminate our talent, our capacity, our experience as a, a high level element for the development of uh, knowledge and society, and of course, for growth and strengthening of uh, the um, high education. Uh, so we try to enhance uh, the talent of women. Today, we had uh, two experiences, Maria Jesus and Tewa, I gave you an example of that. And what we also want to do is to promote and uh, to invite the new generations into uh, uh, foster that spirit so that all the women and adolescents that are interested in uh, developing a certain uh, discipline, especially in the technical part of the development of the internet, may lose the uh, fear and do it. So th through this collaboration, well, we have a working plan with five strategic axes, and we are promoting the one that has to do with the internationalization. So I thank Laura Kaplan, and Maria Clara but, and Alicia Sucheti for all the ease that they have given us to promote this uh, IT Women Mentoring Program together so that we may reach more institutions in the specific case of Mexico so that they can join and develop these new generations, these uh, girls and help them specialize on these topics. And uh, an important thing is that among the benefits that collaboration brings and between the uh, Women's uh, Network and LACNIC, it has an impact on the three specific goals that we aim at. One is to generate impact in the development of university women in Mexico, but also to produce the means to promote these disciplines. And because that has a more evident the one that has more evident impact is profit professionalization of university women through the development of ICT specialized trainings and also so that they can develop soft skills, including leadership. Unfortunately, and as a study showed, a study we conduct yearly, we still have a low number of women that participate in the technical part in the universities. And even fewer uh, in the uh, those that join those 10 um, fields in, at the university. So we want them to develop softer skills so that in the future, more women may be leading um, IT uh, working groups. So I just uh, want to thank uh, for invite you. Thank you for inviting us to collaborate. Very soon we'll be suggesting who can be part of uh, this group of people, of women who uh, who act, are going to act as jury in the call. And also, as I want to thank the mentors at a time, my colleague Carmen is going to tell you that precisely it was thanks to these relations that we can be presenting this uh, session for all our universities today. I also want to invite you in the annuistic uh, event 2022. It's going to be hybrid and you can participate. And then we're going to be presenting the topics in which we can see capacity building and uh, the mission uh, contributed with the, the uh, female uh, uh, our work. Um, and uh, the digital strategies, not just at the university, but also government in the development of the internet. So I want to thank you. I want, I invite you to join us in uh, these uh, uh, social networks. So we, we are also we are also part of uh, the sister working groups and networks. And of course, we work with the people, with the women working in ICT. So thank you. Thank you, Erika. We now give the floor to Carmen Denis. She'll continue. 
Thank you, Alessia, and good afternoon, uh, good evening, those who are with us today. It's an honor for me, it's a privilege to be here sharing this with you. I'm going to share this, uh, this uh, the, the national, the with ANUIS, uh, we are ANUIS TICAM, the committee. Um, um, as there's a committee that was created about three years ago, and in a way, it's uh, the output or it uh, appeared as the result of something that what uh, both Deborah and Maria Jesus uh, said. Of course, my congratulations for participating and being part of this big family of uh, the Lacna community. Uh, uh, for a better internet. So in this commission for the collaboration in the ecosystem and development of the internet in the higher education institutions, this the idea was to open a communication channel, a bridge between key organizations and key uh, um, stakeholders in Mexico as a big community of Latin America and the Caribbean to act as a bridge so that we can take the universities, the academia, the network operators, the students or the young people or young professionals, including women, so that they may have a point of encounter where they can identify how to participate in an ecosystem. And that is like adding a grain of, so of, of, grain of sand uh, of what, and we as universities need to be active in the internet ecosystem. Um, so um, just, I come from the generation of the 90s and we experience things like this. So here I'm showing where it is in the URL, the web portal, and what can you find here? Well, you can find the, uh, this is a channel for dissemination of uh, events workshops like this seminar that uh, gathers us today for promotion, the development of knowledge and the capacity of technical women in the region. But also we promote uh, courses, the activities that we'll have at the next annuistic uh, event. Um, and how do we do this? We do this responding to action access so that in this case, we can motivate our universities in each of uh, the uh, actors and even decision makers that they can be uh, IT directors, uh, network operators, academia, to provide them a channel so that they may know how to have access, for instance, when to know or to learn when a program was released, for instance, like in this one, monitoring an event or the next one that we have with Anuistic or LACNIC 38 or LACNIC 2022. And we have these access, um, IPv6, um, um, secure routing, DNS, uh, DNSSEC. In the near future, we'll have a course on governance uh, given by these sister organizations in the ecosystem. And we also have internet measurement. These are all activities that appear when there are new podcast, when there's a panel, when there's an event online, or even when there's a call for uh, grants uh, to get uh, to participate in those events, you can sometimes uh, uh, concentrate everything that's going on. Now, let me just um, leave. Uh, I, I, I want to share something with you as Laura and Alessia explained initially, they're going to explain the uh, development of the advance of the monitoring uh, program, such as uh, Erika Maria Jesus. And uh, uh, we're going to share some tips and it's important because each of you have uh, mentioned it in the talks. But as I, I say it as a, a member of the LACNIC's IT women community, but I'm also sharing it with you in Anuistic and uh, as uh, so, as part of this committee, um, we, we invite you to participate. Please register in um, the mailing list to receive the announcements, announcements so that you may find out what is happening. The LACNIC portal has a beautiful set of places, and you also have 
specialists in Ghana, some of you can participate in the groups of operators in your countries. In, in the case of Mexico, we have Exynox participate in the web, uh, in the webinars and uh, also make the most of campus uh, LACNIC. There are students that are also entering and they, uh, if you don't enter in this uh, call for LACNIC 2022, that doesn't mean that in the future we, we won't be there. We need you to be present in those spaces. So participate even if remotely of the events of uh, uh, and we uh, tip, uh, um, and as we have, uh, next um uh in next uh, lacnac listen to the podcast lacnic offers beautiful uh po um, podcast and also the articles that they have igual como de viva voz y que sinceramente igual he sido parte de Please take advantage of all of the opportunities that LACNIC provides, whether scholarship grants. I, I was actually a beneficiary of the, I was unfortunately not a beneficiary of the mentoring program, but really we need to take advantage of all of the LACNIC programs. And I am speaking on behalf of the IT women community really we want to deeply thank LACNIC. They have really changed the game. So please follow us on social media. We spread the word for LACNIC and other organizations like ICANN, Internet Society, GUIDI, and so you can follow us and find us here. So my dear Jose Luis, I know you are here. So I am handing the floor over to you. Thank you, LACNIC, and congratulations for these initiatives. Hello, it is my pleasure to be here and to greet you all. This is truly a great opportunity and we should realize how important collaboration is, especially when we bring together Anuistic and LACNIC and through the activities that we have already discussed. I want to well, thank those who came before me, Dr. Laura Kaplan, Alicia Zucchetti, our dear Erika, Carmen, and our very distinguished uh, participants who were a part of this process, Maria Jesus and Deborah. I think this is a great opportunity for other girls to undergo a program of this nature and also to develop different skills and competencies. I think this is one of the aspects that we need to contemplate for the a region to develop as well. It will be very important for us to think that these alliances are, are possible to, to really get results from these alliances to maximize efforts. The pandemic has taught us that if we continue working in silos and working independently and in an isolated manner, we will not be able to solve the problems that the world is throwing at us. And sometimes we fail to react. I think that by working together, by working in our communities, and as a community and creating a, a common uh, and a shared front will help us solve these uh, shared problems. So thank you all. I want to thank all of you. And I think that this is a great moment in time. And thanks to this alliance, I think we will be able to have good impact. Let's even consider the social impact in our region and also trying to uh, advance gender equality, something that we really owe women socially and historically. And this is a good example of that. Uh, and uh, uh, one more experience and to continue moving forward, trying to inspire, to provoke and to to really motivate many women in IT. I think that the great experience that they have uh, uh, been able to experience and the support as Maria de Buena and Maria Jesus mentioned and, and to make all of their dreams a reality, to work in team, to look for solutions together and to develop soft skills as they as they said and be able to develop leadership skills as well is wonderful i want to congratulate you i know is here to help you 
to continue promoting this collaborative network. I think this is a great moment in time. Thank you, thank you, LACNIC, and I am here to help you. Thank you, Jose Luis, for your words, and thank you to all of the panelists and, and attendees that have joined us today. We well, basically we just want to 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 thank and to encourage you to sign up to our mentoring program. And if you have any questions, I know that there are no questions in in the Q and A box. But if you do have questions, you can contact us at mentoreo at lacnic.net, and we will address your your questions through that channel. Thank you, Jose Luis, Federica, Carmen, Deborah, Maria Jesus, for being here. And it's been our pleasure. Thank you all.